gorgeous sunny Saturday afternoon here in Belfast. Thank you so much for coming along today. Welcome. If you're a first time viewer, thank you very much for stopping by. If you're a returning viewer, how are you? It's good to see you. On today's episode, I've got a few things to share with you. A couple of finished objects, some works in progress, and I have another finished Amigurumi doll. Okay, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen that I have finished the Snuggle Down Coil. The pattern is by So Sweet Violet. And I am a convert. I love coils. This here coil was knit in um, with seven mini skeins from Wild Rose Yarns. Um, and they were knit alongside um, some lace floof from Lay Family Yarns. So it was the first time I'd ever knit um, with the two yarns together using the, the floof. And then also it's the first time I've knit a coil. So that was nice. Um, it's not itchy or anything. It's lovely to wear. So it's lovely and warm, covers up the neck, just what we need when the weather's getting warmer as we're heading into to summer. But that's it there. So I thought I would have the, let me take it off. So I thought I would have um, the kind of yellowy beigey colour down near the bottom and then going up through the pinks, up to the lilac, closer to my face. So I thought that probably would complement my skin tone better. And um, yeah, it was a really enjoyable knit. Knit up actually very quickly, so that'd be an ideal gift knit. Um, I think I used five millimeter needles for that. And yeah, gorgeous. really happy with that. Um, I was going, it was possibly going to be a gift knit but I've decided to keep it for myself. Um, but the the process of knitting it was really enjoyable so um, I plan to make another one to gift. So that is my snuggle down coil. My next finished object which I'm sure um, is what you're really here for is Autumn the Bear Girl Amigurumi. Here she is. Isn't she gorgeous? So I crocheted this, uh, this doll for my youngest daughter whose birthday is this week. And um, those of you who have watched previous episodes will know that this is not the first time I've crocheted this doll. Um, this here one, I crocheted for my eldest daughter and I followed the pattern. Um, the pattern is by uh, Joji Lee on Etsy. And this pattern, um, yes, I, so I made the doll according to the pattern. So got the wee bare ears and the long boots and she's wearing a long sleeve dress and that's that. So she was crocheted in Drops Loves You number nine, which is a kind of sport weight cotton, I think. So that's her. So my youngest daughter, she wanted her own doll. So I crocheted her one out of Shapey's Katona, which is a four ply kind of cotton yarn. So you can see the difference in the size which doesn't really matter for the purpose of this because this one belongs to the oldest daughter, this one is the youngest daughter, so they are like little sisters. So my youngest daughter, she wanted to have her doll a little bit different. So um, you can see with the hat, um, I haven't added the bare ears onto it. So it's just like a little, it's almost like a little beret type hat on her. 
um, the dress. Um, I made the sleeve shorter, so I stopped earlier in the pattern. Um, the the trim of the the dress, which is um, crab stitch, I think it is. Um, I also did that trim on the short sleeves. Yes, did that trim on the short sleeves there. And um, the little shoes. Uh, I just stopped crocheting when it was time to, you know, start going straight up the leg. I just left them as little shoes. And the bag. I just crocheted a little rectangle and then folded it into three. So you've got little, uh, a little flap there for her to put her things in with a little butterfly button on the front and I just crocheted along. Um, I think it was, I think that was a three row, three rows. So I crocheted a long bit that way. And you can see it's just crossed over on the back there. And my daughter whose doll this is, um, she added her own little addition of a little bracelet. So that's that autumn doll finished and she has decided to call it autumn. She, she didn't want to change the name. So she chose all the colours. So um, you may think they're a bit garish, but she that's what she wanted. She was happy with them. So the yellow for the hat, orange for the dress and the kind of mint blue for the shoes and for the hems. So that is autumn. Um, I'll put notes of um, colours and things that I used in the description box down below. So I've got a couple of works in progress at the minute. A pair of socks. Um, there's probably a lot of sock knitters out there at the scene and there's just something quite comforting about knitting a pair of socks. Um, it's quite a satisfying make. You usually get them finished quite quickly and um, at the end of the day it's something practical that you can wear. So um, here is one of them. That's how far I've got in the other one. So I've turned the heel and am I starting to work down the foot. So this here, um, it's just, uh, that is the yarn there and it is Serdar Heart and Soul, which is a commercial sock yarn and it doesn't have a shade name, it just has a number. So it's shade 0165 and it's 100 grams um, 75.25 sock yarn and so that's it there so I've had this in my stash a while so um, I just thought I would knit up a pair of socks um, I was thinking something um, something like vanilla um, but a bit more exciting vanilla so I um, I chose to um, work with this self-striping yarn and as you can see there it's got some pearl bumps in it and what I did was I decided that whenever a new colour row started um, I would purl that round and then the rest of that colour I would just knit. So you can see I've got some pearl bumps there. Um, and I have to say what I didn't like about this yarn is that the colour stripes aren't um, even. So you'll see that the green, there's more green stripe um, than something like the pale pink, which is I think 
I might have only got like two rounds out of the very very pale pink but anyway it is what it is and it was just a wee a wee project whenever I fancied knitting on a pair of socks so this hasn't been washed or blocked yet um so there's um you can you can see where it's been knit on DPNs. Usually I would knit socks on nine millimeter mini circs, but um, my hands have been a wee bit sore, so I decided to use double pointed needles for this project. And it's just a normal heeled flap and a star toe at the end. That's those. Sorry if I sound a bit snuffly today. Um, the pollen count is high, so um, yeah, I've got a bit of hay fever. It's one of those things. So that's that. Right, uh, temperature blanket, I'm not going to show you, as I think I showed it last time. Um, we're starting to get into the warmer temperatures. There was a big block of um, light blue, which I had been working on. And we're starting to go into the, the lilacs and the pinks, which is good. There is uh, another project I'm working on and it's a baby blanket. Remember in my last episode, I showed you a book that I had purchased. Um, it was called Beautiful Blankets, Afghans and Throws by Leonie Morgan. So I chose the, the diagonal blanket from that book and I have started it. Um, so that kind of leads me into purchases. So I'll talk about the yarn in my purchases bit. But anyway, so the blanket is, um, I think you have to crochet up 36 squares. Um, I've only done four so far. Well, I don't know. I've, got, I've done two fully and I've crocheted two, but still have to crochet the border around those. So I shall show you the nice square. So that's it there. So yeah, enjoying this. It uh, there's quite a lot of ends to sew in. So I've been adapting my technique somewhat for um, whenever I start a new color, I shall um, kind of double over on the yarn and carry the tail through what I'm crocheting. So then that way I'm just having the, the number of um, ends, loose ends that I have to sew in at the end. So that is that there. So that leads me into uh, stash enhancement. So for that diagonals baby blanket, I um, decided to buy some acrylic online I would usually have gone for Stylecraft Special DK, um, but for this blanket, um, I decided to try another brand. There was another brand on offer, and that was um, Shapey's Color Crafter, and I have some here. So, so this is a ball of it here. So this is a hundred grams. And it's 300 meters. It is 100% acrylic, and um, it's anti-pilling as well, which is good. So it's it's really nice, soft, uh, soft acrylic yarn. It's not scratchy. It's not splitty. So yes, I would really, I would recommend this brand. If you uh, have previously used um, Stylecraft Special DK um, and a colour you're looking for isn't in stock, I, um, I would recommend this brand. Give this brand a go. Um, not sponsored, it's not an ad. I just really like it. But yeah, really pleasantly surprised. Lots and lots of colours, I think. There was maybe, I'm going to say about a hundred different colours. Um, but yes, that's definitely 
definitely a yarn brand to consider for the future. Oh yes, so um, I had watched a video previously by Elise. She recommended um, different yarns for Ami Gurumi. And on Lovecraft several weeks ago, I saw that one of the brands that uh, Elise had mentioned was on sale. I think it was like 30% off. And the brand here is Morocco Vintage DK. So I got two, two balls, a nice grey and uh, a nice brown kind of colour. So the brown is 2105 and the grey is colour 2106. And these are 100 grams, uh, 266 metres. 52% acrylic, 40% wool, 8% nylon. And I have to say, I'm really pleasantly surprised by these. Um, they're lovely and soft, not scratchy again. Um, and I can see why they'd be perfect for making like little bear amigurumis or rabbit amigurumis, little animals. I think these would be really nice. Um, just because they've got that extra wee bit of fluff to them. Um, which animal amigurumis can sometimes benefit from. So I've got those there. Again, I think full price, they're probably about nine pounds, which is a bit much um, for a commercial DK yarn, but I think I only paid six pounds for them. So look forward to using those as well. Uh, my last purchase um, is a little project bag. I saw online that um, Amelia X Joy on Etsy um, was having a sale. Um, so uh, I bought one of her project bags, which is this here. Lots of little cats on it. I thought this would be a nice little sock bag, sock project bag, little drawstring and inside it's got a pocket and it's got a little kind of bucket base to it um, and inside actually I got a freebie with it which I, do, I have never seen one of these before. Uh, it's a yarn ball holder in the style of Monet's Water Lilies, which is very nice. Um, so I'm guessing you put center pull wound balls into this kind of little sock. Um, and it keeps all, all together without unravelling when you're out and about. So that was a nice wee touch. So yes, I do like that. And um, I'm just noticing that I've got a bit of a theme going on. Teal. 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 Yeah, I'm thinking that might be my favourite colour at the minute. Anyway. What have we new? Lockdown has almost come to an end here. Things are starting to open up in Northern Ireland. Um, schools are all back. Businesses are starting to open up. I think hairdressers were opened yesterday. Um, people can meet up in groups of 10 outside now and um, yeah so slowly things are coming back to kind of normal again. Okay the last thing I want to talk to you today about is um, something that is happening during the month of May and um, this is uh, if you're interested in amigurumi or crochet May is the month. I think this is the third year for it now and it is called Amiguru May um, 
and this is uh, it's a month long kind of Instagram thing where you can follow daily prompts. It was started by Ilaria at Early Design. She's an Italian crochet designer and she started Amigurume about three years ago. And there's daily prompts. You can go to, onto her website and print off a planner. And there's daily prompts you can follow um, for your social media kind of Instagram posts. And um, so it's 31 post suggestions and you can post anything about your um, your amigurumi according to what's on the day. Day 14 it talks about yarn so you can take a photo of your yarn stash or um, what yarn you're using at the minute for your amigurumi projects. Um, day 7 hooks you can take a photo of your crochet hooks you could be using them they could be in a jar or a, a jug whatever so I'm quite looking forward to getting started um, with this hashtag it's the first time I've taken part in Amigurume because this year has really been the first time that I've kind of gotten into Amigurume um, I have always admired it from afar and I would say it's only been in 2021 20, that I've actually made it, actually made any amigurumi. So I'm looking forward to using the hashtag and seeing everyone else's um, crochet creations, getting some inspiration. I just love seeing what other people have made and um, it just really, you know, cheers my heart to see um, all the, the little cute animals and things that people have made. So you have been warned, amigurumi starting on the 1st of May. I really look forward to seeing what you share. So that's it for today. If you liked this episode, give it a thumbs up or hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye.